In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up a generic GPS receiver for a Raspberry Pi model B+. So, if your Raspberry Pi has internet, that's actually not sufficient to reliably um, geolocate your device. And the reason is because a remote web machine only would know your internet access point router, and that router IP address actually doesn't necessarily map to um, any, any physical location, especially in a world where ISPs, internet service providers, rotate um, IP addresses, especially for mobile, uh, mobile data and mobile internet. So in order to reliably get GPS coordinates, you actually do need a physical device that is able to uh, read um, satellite data. And that's what this is here. It can do more than just longitude, latitude, GPS. It can do things like altitude, climb, movement, speed, that sort of thing. But the primary purpose is to reliably locate a device at any given point. So the first thing we're going to do is actually power and turn on our Raspberry Pi. But we're going to turn it on without the GPS um, without the GPS unit plugged in. And the reason we're going to do that is so that we're going to be able to find which port uh, um, the, the GPS unit is, is attached to. So let's just first turn this on. Okay, so we have our Raspberry Pi turned on, and again, the GPS receiver is not plugged in. And the reason we did that is so that we can see what serial it's going to show up as in our console here. So we can show the different um, serials if we go to dev and then do list. So we can just kind of take a look at this. We can see TTY, and then there's something called TTYM. AMA0 um, and that's probably like our keyboard or something like that but we can kind of just get a feel okay so these are the current serials and whatever we plug in is going to show up here so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the GPS receiver and then we can refresh the list and we should be able to see our device show up. Okay, so again I'm just taking my GPS receiver and I'm picking any USB port to plug it into. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and then let's refresh our list here. LS. Okay, so there's a new device, TTY ACMO. So because that wasn't there before, we know that that represents the GPS. So now we need to install a little bit of software and it needs to bind to that serial. The name of the package is called GPSD and that's what we're going to use to read the GPS data. I'm going to go ahead and start running some commands here. Okay, so now that we have our GPS receiver plugged in and we know what serial it's tied to, we're going to go ahead and install the GPSD package. So the first command is just going to be sudo apt-get install gpsd gpsd-clients and Python hyphen GPS. Okay, I already had it installed, so it was pretty quick. And then we're going to stop the GPSD service, rebind it to the to the correct serial, and then restart it. So that command is going to be sudo system oops, sudo system ctl stop gpsd dot socket and then sudo system ctl disable gpsd dot socket okay 
And then I noticed that there was one other change that we should make uh, in the package. So let's go ahead and do that. There is a config file that we're going to edit. I'm going to use vim. So we're going to do vim lib system, oops, system d system gpsd.socket. So I already edited this, I believe. But basically, out of the box, it's going to give you the local host IP of 127.0.0.1. And you want to change that to 0.0.0. So I already changed that here, but if you hadn't changed that yet, you would make that change and then you did colon X and that will close out of that file and save it at the same time. And then now we're just going to kill any ongoing process. So sudo kill all, any ongoing process around GPSD. No process found, that's fine. All right, so now we're gonna bind GPSD to the serial that we found. So let's go ahead and do that. So sudo gpsd. So this is telling the package where it should listen to essentially. And in my case, it's tty ac. And now there's a bunch of utilities that gpsd gives us, but essentially we want to be able to read our GPS data. So one of those such utilities is called GPS Mon. It's a GPS monitor. So let's go ahead and run that and see if we get any data. GPS Mon. Okay. All right, so we can now see some GPS data coming in. Again, it keeps going in and out, but we can see we have a latitude here and a longitude. So we're gonna take that, and you can see now it's gone again. We're gonna take that and we're gonna plug that into a Google Maps and see what it gives us for the actual address. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's plug in the coordinates that the GPS gave us. So currently it's set to New York. Um, we are in Boston, so if this is accurate at all, it should move us over to having been in Boston. So, okay, it was reading for latitude 42.34194. And then for longitude, it was reading west, which I guess is negative, 71 dot o nine nine one six eight and then we're going to do get address and see where that puts us okay so it didn't quite get my address but I'll tell you this is a cross street of my address so very close now, I don't know if that's due to the GPS going in and out, and that's why it's not exactly my address, or if I didn't add enough decimals when I put the, um, the longitude and latitude in there. So, um, could be you know one or the other, but very accurate. I mean, it's, it's my neighborhood, it's right near my street. So, anyways, that's how you use the GPS receiver to get your actual GPS coordinates on any Raspberry Pi. And again, this is just a generic receiver, that I, a GPS receiver that I got on Amazon. So this approach should work for you know, most of the GPS receivers that you see on Amazon. Anyways, thank you for listening.